when we wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun We know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright Okay, just filled up at Bramwell uh, So that's Bramwell Roadhouse, we've left the um, tourist park at the moment you can see it in the in the distance there, Bramwell Junction. Uh, so we're off to uh, Jardine River. Does there's a sign just up here? I'll try and get it on the camera when we leave. Um, but it's a two and a half hour run, I think it says. Um, yeah, so we're leaving. We're filled up, and the next view will be on the northern side of the river, uh, which is Bamaga. Um, but we should have enough. I think it's 180 to Jardine and then 50k, so we'll be sweet. But yeah, we'll just keep it filled in to show you anything along the way. So yeah, uh, where are we? Yeah. What falls are we at? Fruit Bat Falls. Fruit Bat Falls, just been splashing in the actual falls and now Nikki's just going to sit in pool at the top, which is quite nice. So Bessie likes this because it's got a sand, sandy bottom and there's fish all around them. Can you see the fish all around you? Uh, no, Nikki, see all the fish around you? Are they? Yeah, look. No, I can't see them. Oh, Bessie, there's little fish in the water. Our goggles. Next time, there's a hot tip. Bring your goggles. Bring your goggles. <laughs> that, that's some bloody big corrugations there. No. We're just running the little side track here at the moment. This is just the second round. This is round two of destruction. Oh, we cleaned up the other destruction earlier. Mm. Fusion locks are not. Hello. Fusion locks aren't doing its not thing. Happy. Looks like the microwave's come away from its glue. I'm not surprised about the fusion locks though, because honestly, they've that road was really rough. Like, yeah, they did a really good job to hold up to that point. That was a pretty rough road. So we made it to the Jardine Ferry. We pulled up out the back for camping tonight. The uh, reason we're not going through is 
we've learnt pretty quickly that Boston needs to sleep about two o'clock and it's two o'clock now. So if we continue on, I think it's only about a 50 more K, but it would be, um, I don't know, it'd be a disaster tonight probably. And cause he's still a bit sick and we're all, we're all a bit sick. So just, um, yeah, just trying to get some sleep, I guess. I mean, and, and then we'll go tomorrow. We're not in a real hurry. Like I said, we've got tomorrow night we will find somewhere. And then um, Wednesday night at, we're at Punson, which is um, Punson Bay's right at the tip. So I think it's about 30 more kilometers to the tip. And you just, um, you have to drive around with your car. You won't be able to take the caravan. But yeah, we're at the Jardine River crossing. I'm gonna just walk down here now and try and get some footage and show you what it's like. So I don't know if you can see that or if you can even hear me. The problem that you find when we're towing a car caravan over here, I've noticed uh, with all the research I've done, is the the steep incline, uh, decline, sorry, the steep decline of the um, driveway. Um, a lot of people rip water tanks out and um, back legs, supporter legs and uh, all sorts of things. So. Hopefully tomorrow we um, we don't have that issue. We we have had a fair bit of damage already. Oh, when I say damage, I mean a couple of doors and the microwave um, fascia is falling apart. But um, other than that, fingers crossed, we can deal with that sort of stuff. It's it's major stuff we don't want. Maybe that So you probably would have seen some footage. We went across the Jardine River, uh, unscathed, no damage, which I was worried about, which is very good news. Um, so we've just pulled, um, we just dropped the van at Alau Beach Campground, uh, which is really nice actually. When we get back there, I'll show you um, the view. I mean, the facilities and that aren't, they aren't like caravan spec or anything like that, but for off-grid, unpowered, it's gonna be great for us. The view's amazing. And now we've just driven into Bamaga. We've got a few um, things to do. We're trying to find some food because we haven't got enough. Empty the toilet and we found a park for Boston. So he's, um, he's happy and mum's got reception. So she's probably happy too. Anyway, I'll um, show you what we see. So we're just at, um, and I'll throw some footage in so you don't have to watch me talking. Uh, we're at the DC3 crash site near the airport uh, in Bamaga. Um, really cool actually. Um, it's one of the most intact 
aeroplane crashes still, I don't know. I'm not gonna say world, but I'm gonna say Australia. If I'm wrong, bash me in the comments, I don't care. But it's pretty cool. It's 1945 this plane was um, crashed here. Uh, and it doesn't say what the cause of the crash was though. It doesn't say what caused the crash. It'd be very interesting to know, because 45 is still wartime. Yeah, yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. Must be. Yeah, but um, a lot of people don't do this. And I don't understand why, it's really good to look at. And it's like a minute drive it's literally a minute out of two minutes Bamaga. from, two minutes from um, the BP yeah. where you turn off to go to Punson Bay. Mm. I tell you what would be really good if you're doing homeschooling. Yeah. Get your kids to watch like a movie from this era and then come out and show them this the next day. Oh, super cool. Yeah. And we're doing, not doing homeschooling so we don't need to worry about that. But um, yeah, I'll get heaps of footage and I'll throw it in over the top of me talking now. Um, there are some more ruins down the road so I'm going to try and find them and get some footage of that as well. So if you are interested in coming to see the plane crash site, on Wiki Camps, just outside of um, Bamaga, it's on the airport road, and it's called the DC-3 crash site. Uh, you can, you wouldn't be able to drop your caravan, um, I mean, you could drop your caravan and drive in, but just next to the road, if you just go past where the DC-3 sign, where the right-hand turn is, um, if you just come past it, you can park on the side of the road here and walk in. It's about 25 meters. But anyway, I'll drop I'll drop in um, the wiki camps thing here or here, and you can um, you'll be able to pinpoint it for yourself. So what you're looking at there, that is. Um, World War II fuel dump on uh, wiki camps. So it doesn't tell you much, but from what you can see is there's hundreds of um, 44 gallon drums just dumped into the, the bush here. Whether they dropped out of a plane, whether they, I, I don't know, but you know, if that was World War II, let me tell you, some of the 44s are still in pretty good tack. But yeah, we're gonna keep going down this track because there's some, um, there's another icon down here called the Bristol Beaufort Bomber Wreck. So we're going to see that now. So we made it here this morning, uh, yesterday to Alau Beach Campground. Um, so it's about, where is it? It's about 10 minutes from Bamaga. It's in a town called um, Magico. What I'll do is I'll throw some footage of our campsite here over the top of me talking again so you don't have to watch me. Um, yeah, beautiful spot, 35 bucks for uh, an unpowered site, which is reasonable. We've been paying 30 bucks for in the middle of nowhere. so. 35 is good with the views and you can see that we've got a great little site here um, Yeah, there are you do have to be wise for crocs. There are crocs in the area. We didn't see any but um, They're pretty common apparently so Anyway, uh, today's our trek to Punton Bay, which is our last stop um, And we're there for two nights and we're also going to go to the tip today the most northern point of mainland Australia which is a huge bucket list for us, so we're super excited. Um, yeah, a little bit nervous about getting to Punton. They reckon there's a river crossing um, and the road's one of the roughest ones. Uh, so we'll see see how we fare in that. And um, yeah, we'll take you along for the ride. So we're at the Croc Tent, which is uh, 
at the turn for Punson Bay. Uh, so this is where you get all your merch that says, I've gotten to the tip and I've made the tip and I'm going to the tip. And that's not the tip as in where you dump your rubbish. That's the tip of Australia. Anyway, we'll give you a look inside. That's a big crocodile. Two animals. A crocodile and a pigeon. That's And just like that, we're at Punson Bay. A few little water crossings on the way in, but um, yeah, it all went really well. We're gonna set up now so we can um, go to the tip. So we'll see you when we're uh, climbing over. The, tr the trek, we just started the trek up to the sign. I can already feel me pants falling down. I've got old mate on me back, so it's gonna be a good little trek. Um, yeah, we'll get some footage along the way and show you when we get there. Bug it. Oh, loves in. I got me full hiking gear on. And you got old Battler here with just the thongs on. Thongs and a summer dress. She doesn't care. I can see it. We made it. Oh, well, not there yet, but we're very close. Aren't we, darling? Yep. Tell you what. So far, so good. So at low tide, you can actually walk around um, the beach way so we'll probably do that on the way back just to get the best of both worlds I guess might be cooler, might be cooler. Um, but yeah we can see it in the distance now which is awesome um, I don't even know if you can hear me but I'm already starting to feel a sense of achievement we made it Woohoo! we made it it's a bit windy. It is windy. I always wondered why you don't see drone footage. Now I know why. But anyway, that's Cape York done. Now we just got to go back. Aussie. We did it! Yay! Yay! I'm even getting a bit of sea breeze, which uh, sea spray, which is nice. 
you can't reach it, you're pulling me over. Yeah. Is that good? A bit windy? So this is the beach way back. You can go the beach way when it's low tide, which just happens to be when we are here. So fortunately, this track is a little easier and maybe even a little more scenic. We'll see. Should be good. Hey boys. Did you tell them about the snake? Yeah, it wasn't here. It was on the <laughs> way here. There was a giant brown snake and I'm terrified of snakes. So nice. that was a bit full on. But anyway, that's what you get. We're literally out in a very remote location, so they should be expected. Be here too. Yeah, okay, let's not discuss that. <laughs> anyway, have a look at this epic view. Oh, so pretty. There's something on the beach here. Yeah. This way's nice. Very nice. If you get your choice, are you flip it around at me. If you get your choice, go this way. I reckon it's it's a lot flatter and it's very, very beautiful. So we're just heading down to the bar to have um, pizza and a few drinks uh, to celebrate making it to the tip. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll get a bit of footage down here for you, just at the bar and um, it's called the Corrugations Bar, which is uh, a very good name for it because we've probably done about six or seven hundred k's of corrugations at this point. Um, what else can I say? There's a few cars coming past here, she's a bit tight. Yeah, um, one thing to note, Punton Bay relies on uh, rainwater. They don't have water on their powered sites, so we did not know that. We, had four, we have 40 litres in the back of the car that we have put in, and we're going to make that work for two days. Um, I think we'll be fine. Anyway, I'll give you a look down here and show what it looks like. Forgot to mention Bundaberg Rums, $13 a can. I mean, I think I pay 10, we take, pay 10 bucks um, back at home, so 13 is not too bad. Um, washing machine was $6 and the dryer was $10 to dry your clothes. But we're idiots and we did it because we really wanted to get it done. Can you get a video of me and mum? Hi, we made it to the cave. Tell them, <laughs> tell them about the excavator. There. Turn it around so they can see it. Show them. They're looking at you at the moment. Turn it around. Turn it around. Turn the camera. Turn the camera. They're looking at Boston. Yep, there you go. Show them the excavator now. Oh, yeah. And the sunset. Tell them sunset. Tell them sunset. Yeah, I see the sunset. I like it. It's too far away. Too far away. Oh, there it goes. Look at that strike wheel. Um, wow. Pretty. You got your phone? Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. I look at that. I see the sunset. I see the sunset. Oh, well done. I see the extra by that. 
Do the excavator? Oh, oh, that's me! Hey, Boston, tomorrow would you like to walk down and have a look at it? Do you want to go and see the excavator up close? Well, I know who it is. Well, well, um, uh, I'm going to Let's see the, the excavator on the, the, on the, on the green. Say bye now. Bye. Can you say bye, YouTube? Bye, Siri. <laughs> bye. Now my camera back now. First night at Punts and Dun and Dusted. Ooh. I'm ready for bed. That's a good bye for good bye to Punson Bay. We had a good time, but we need to start heading back to get our Starlink. That's not the reason <laughs> why we're going. <laughs> Bye bye Punson. Let's go back to civilization. <laughs>